was pleasant and delightful one midsummer's morn, when the fields and the meadows were all covered in corn, and the blackbirds and thrushes sang on every green spray, and the larks they sang melodious at the dawning of the day. And the larks they sang melodious, and the larks they sang melodious, and the larks they sang melodious at the dawning of the day. I'm John Nicholson. When we moved to Bamford, I started running on the Thornhill Trail. It was clearly an old railway, but there didn't seem anywhere up the Derwent Valley that would have warranted its construction. Looking into its origins revealed the fascinating history of the Derwent Valley Dams, who built them, when and how, and their impact on the valley. The stories inspired me to capture how the beauty and calm we enjoy today is on the back of sacrifices made by both the workforce and residents of the valley, some of whom still live here. Today we save a peace and quiet along the Thornhill Trail But in the 1900s was a very different tale A railway line carved out the route right up to Birchin Lee To bring the million tons of stone that built the dams we see From Bamford up to Birchin Lee a railway line was laid Where Thornhill cars rewilded its space helps nature thrive today in Tin Town, with the shops and houses, hospital and school, a thousand men and families were proud to make their home. The dangerous work these brave men did meant some did not survive, and a monument in Bamford Church keeps their memory alive. From Bamford up to Birchin Lee, a railway line was laid, where Thornhill cars rewilded space helps nature thrive today. First Howden and then Derwent Dam held back the water's flow And Lady of Arson gave the shape to the valley we now know The railway closed in 46 when all the work was done With Derwent and Fair Ashopton beneath the waters gone The waters rose and villages drowned To quench the Midlands thirst just memories survive the flood for those who lost their homes. Into the 1990s and the Thornhill Trail is born, where walkers, runners, riders all find some daily calm. With Thornhill car protected and rewilding taking hold, the haven is completion and another chapter's close. From Bamford up to Birchin Lee, a railway line was laid. Where Thornhill cars rewild in space, helps nature thrive today. So as we walk the Thornhill Trail, remember why it's here. And that others left a legacy we're privileged to share. Yes, as we walk the Thornhill Trail, remember why it's here. And that others left a legacy we're privileged to share. 
From Bamford up to Birchinley, a railway line was laid. Where Thornhill cars rewild its space helps nature thrive today. From Bamford up to Birchinley, a railway line was laid. Where Thornhill cars rewild its space helps nature thrive today. Thornhill Car, my place to be, with my dog on a morning walk, an evening amble. We walk the tracks and trails, now a slow plod, feet crunching on frosty mornings, warm summer evenings a lazy haze, golden autumn afternoons in the rain, snow, mist, and the fresh green springtime. I know they see me, but only the delicate tracks in the snow Tell me the shy roe deer are there. A late dusk walk surprises the early badger ambling through the bracken. The plump cherry red gems and fluty chirrup of the flitting bullfinches liven up the bare black branches on cold winter's mornings. The barn owl, a silent ghost, hunting its scurrying meal, lifts my heart. The ever-changing view across to the edge opens up often accompanied by the clear but distant clink of climbing gear on a summer's evening. The colours change across the year. All this set against the rising and falling birdsong, snatches of conversation and friendly greetings of passers-by, the pumping legs of runners and riders. This is my Thornhill car. This is a poem by Kathleen Hernshaw, a historian whose family has lived for generations in the Bamford area. Kathleen remembers her grandfather and mother always referred to the railway line as the Route, a name that is still used for the Thornhill Trail by many local residents. The Route by Kathleen Hernshaw. It has always been called the Route but now it has another name. It began existence as a railway track to carry stone from the station up to Birchinley. It begins by Quaker House and leads up through the trees. It has wildlife of all kinds. I hear birds and animals. I see badgers there at night. I have seen heron in the fields close by and deer in the trees at first light. I love the earthy smell and rotting leaves in autumn, the views across the river. It crosses the road and carries on with touchstone about earth until it reaches water. The keeper did a hunting go, and under his cloak he carried a bow, all for to shoot at a merry little doe, among the leaves so green, oh, Jackie boy, Master, sing me well, very well, lay down, oh down, derry derry down, among, among the leaves so green, oh, to my hay down down, to my hoe down down, hay down, oh down, down. derry derry down, among the leaves so green, oh. The next door she did cross the brook, the keeper fetched her back with his crook. Where she is now you may go and look, among the leaves so green, oh. Jackie boy, Master, sing me well, very well, lay down, oh down, derry derry down, among, among the leaves so green, oh. to my hay down down, to my hoe down down, hay down, oh down, derry derry down, among the leaves so green, oh. the keeper did a hunting go, and in the woods he caught the doe, she looked so sad that he had to let her go among the leaves so green, oh. 
Jackie boy, Master. sing me well, very well. Hey down, oh down, Derry, down, Derry, Derry, Derry down, down, among the leaves so green, oh. To my hey down, down, to my ho down, down. Hey down, ho down, Derry, Derry down, among the leaves so green, oh. I'm walking through the uh, upper path. Uh, through the Thornhill Car Nature Reserve at the moment, and the only the only thing that I can really see flowering right now is the celandine. It's a bright yellow flower, quite low to the ground, with heart-shaped leaves. And I remember from last year that was the first um, plant that flowered in abundance on this trail. So I'm now going to try and say this in different languages. Stinkende gauwe Stinkende gauwe Stinkende gauwe Chili douane Chili douane Chili douane Chili douane Schildkraut Schildkraut, 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 Schildkraut. Glistnik, 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 Glistnik. Hello, my name is Emily Irving Witt and I have been living in Bamford for the past three years or so. Um, ever since coming across Thornhill Carr, 
been there a lot um, as I, I really loved the different habitats and the numerous other wildlife and plants that live there. I particularly love bird watching and, and it's a great place there for birds and it's a comfort to know that Derbyshire Wildlife Trust will, will now be safeguarding it and, um, and that we'll get a chance to watch rewilding unfold on our doorsteps. I particularly spent a lot of time at Thornhill Carr in the last year um, and it was in the last year that I was inspired to write two tunes um, as I am a folk musician as well. So the tune for Wild Thornhill, which is one of the names of one of the tunes, emerged whilst, whilst I was exploring the many different levels and layers of Thornhill Carr. I also wrote uh, a waltz called Windhill Waltz, which emerged through one of the many occasions of walking through the tops of Thornhill Car and out onto the moorland and onto Windhill, um, which is the the ever-present mound watching over Bamford. Um, it's lovely to have been provided with the opportunity to share these tunes and um, I hope you enjoy them. And this tune is called Windhill Waltz. This is Wild Thornhill. Thank you. 
The Thornhill Trail by Kath Allwood. Thornhill Carr is the site of a new nature reserve which was given to Derbyshire Wildlife Trust in 2020. The Thornhill Trail, known locally as the Route, runs through it. It's easy walking or cycling, firm in wet weather, shady in heat. It runs from just above Bamford Station up to the Yorks Bridge Inn. It used to be a railway line which carried stone to build a dam at Lady Bow Reservoir. So it's not very old really, and yet it conveys a sense that it has always been there. In the 1970s, when I was a young woman, I discovered a book called The Old Straight Track by Alfred Watkins that was in my local library. He wrote it in the 1920s. His notion was there was a grid of tracks, or what he called ley lines, crisscrossing Britain. This fitted very well with the counterculture of the 70s hippies, as I like to think of myself. His theory was actually quite down to earth, literally, really. He thought that Britain had had a network of tracks before the Romans came used for trading, visiting and generally getting around. The tracks were a network of straight alignments, taking in things like cairns, standing stones, camps, castles, ancient church sites, even prominent stands of trees and hilltops and other high places. Layers of mysticism gathered round this ley line theory over the decades until they became some sort of romantic overlay of Britain for travellers seeking, oh, who knows what, enlightenment perhaps, that was a favourite of mine in the 70s. Ley lines called to us in some strange and possibly magnetic way. Is it the iron in our blood responding to the Earth's magnetic forces? Well, perhaps. Straight tracks certainly hold significance for human beings. The old straight Thornhill Trail feels good to walk along, so perhaps it follows one of these ancient ley lines. You can get into a rhythm. It's flat and obstacle free with a gentle gradient up to Yorkshire Bridge. There's old pastures on either side, pleasant to look at, green and yellow in the winter. They're not so distracting that they interrupt your travelling, though. If you look more closely, in spring and early summer, you will find wildflowers and butterflies. There are overgrown hedgerows where birds sing. There is a badger set up the hillside. It's one of the largest in Derbyshire. But they won't cross your path during the daylight hours. You can see where they come trundling down from their home at night. They have worn wide pathways through the scrub bordering the trail, marked with badger paw prints, scarred by badger claws. Roe deer are around too, though they're private and delicate creatures who pick their way silently and secretly through the scrub and trees. If you sat quietly for a very long time, they might show themselves. The Thornhill Trail is Bamford's old straight track and it's for residents of all species.
ride this train of steam and stone. You welcomed me into your home. I'll stay with you while the sky ignites her evening lamp lights. I work all day for what it's worth. Tears you cry fall to the earth. They'll flood this valley and wash away all trace of these days. We sing as one as this day dies. The chapel bells ring one last time. You took a part. You'd always know, but couldn't find the old way home. The place you grew, no flowers grow, no chimneys smoke, or half fires glow. The lanes we courted, lost to time beneath the water. Ascending, folding all as deepening shadows fall. We sing as one sing as this day dies. The chapel bells ring one last time. We'll take a part we've never known. Maybe we'll find. A new way home. My name's Tom Wells. I've lived in the Hope Valley for 15 years. I wrote the song The Old Way Home uh, based on a story that my friend and colleague told me about her grandparents. They met during the building of the dams with their grandma living in Ashupton, which was one of the villages that was flooded for the, make, for the building of the dam. And her granddad had moved to the area to, as a worker to help build the dam. Um, I always thought it was an interesting way to, for you know for a family to have begun um, and at the same time lose the village that he'd grown up in. Um, the song is from the point of view of her granddad, who's consoling her grandma um, about what she's lost, but also what they're gaining by starting a life together. Uh, I've used some of the words from the, the last hymn, Day is Dying in the West, which is the last hymn, that was sung in Ashupton Church before um, the residents moved out from the village and the valley was flooded. Um, so the refrain at the end is, is in a choral style to sort of uh, echo the, the, the poignancy of this, this community which would have moved out of the valley to make way for the reservoir. Oh. 
Told us the rain of our very first winter Soaking the ground round our roots undefined Wind torn and pale, we hid ourselves Along with the shadows as sunlight came creeping From darkness like death we emerged into light